Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be sharing five indoor activities you could set up for your toddler. My daughter is three years old, but you could do these with either younger or older kids. Just use your best judgment and make sure they're not at that oral fixation stage and that you can still supervise them since some of these items are choking hazards. These activities are great to have in your back pocket for either a rainy day or if you don't have childcare lined up. Right now we're dealing with the coronavirus pandemic and so my daughter's preschool is closed and will be for the next month. Because of that, I ran quickly to the Dollar Tree and grabbed a few items and then I scavenged around the house to see if there's any items that I can include. I went for items that I know that she would love but also will keep her entertained on her own. Alright, so let me show you guys how I keep sane while working from home with a toddler. For my first activity, I brought in my outdoor coffee table and put towels on top and placed a blanket underneath. I have three containers here with water and food coloring. Last night, I froze some pom-poms in an ice cube tray for a little extra fun. I put water and bubbles in this dish bin as well as some plastic gems I got from the Dollar Tree and I added a protein shake scooper to use as a spoon but you can be creative and use whatever you have on hand. What I think has helped me the most is preparing the activity with knowing in the back of my mind how I'm going to clean it up later. If I set it up correctly, then I can let go of her making a mess because I know it's contained and will not take me more than 10 minutes to clean up. Here is actually the first couple of days where I used food items like dried lentils and old pasta, but I decided quickly that because my dog was eating the pieces that fell on the floor, I had to change it to plastic rocks. These water mixing activities are great for her fine motor skills and stimulating her senses. I love watching her explore and react to different textures. Here we're using colored bath tablets that I had found at the Dollar Tree. They're pretty neat. <gasps> Whoa! It makes it purple. She now asks to mix every day and because I bought plastic items, I'm able to reuse them over and over again. My go-to for cleaning up is using a pasta strainer and letting it dry on a dish towel overnight. My next activity is painting. Again, setup is key here. This muffin tin has been helpful so then I can put it in the dishwasher for easy cleanup. You can use a few items around the house like Q-tips, cotton balls, and cardboard tubes. As you can see, she gets very messy with this. So I like to set this up right before bedtime, which sometimes is at 11 a.m., that's okay. Because she is painting indoors, I like to keep it contained on my dining room table, strapped in on her high chair. That way I don't get paint all over my house. Also, I like to put a plastic tablecloth so then cleanup is a cinch. A good tip is to fold it a few times for extra use. For my next one, I like to set her up with sensory play. This is a good one for all ages, though you'll have to set it up differently depending on your child's development. But the main goal here is to have their brain working, using their imagination, their hand-eye coordination, touching, feeling different textures to stimulate their senses. There are so many beautiful sensory tables on Pinterest that can give you some ideas, but don't overthink it. It doesn't need to be fancy. I love watching her brain work and seeing what she does with the items I provided. As long as she's entertained for a good while, I can work right beside her. Let me see. Good job. 
These next two, I like doing them together. I'll give her one or two sheets of stickers and some paper with markers to draw. I used to give her the entire book, but I realized that she does so much better with individual sheets. Also, if my work allows, I'll add some background kid music for her to enjoy. And my last one is Play-Doh. Again, I love setting her up on the high chair on my dining room table so the mess is at least semi-contained. I'll show her how to use the cookie cutters first and then I'll let her do it on her own. Small Play-Doh pieces do end up on the floor but nothing that a hand vacuum can't take care of. Before I end this video, I do want to reiterate to monitor your child with these activities and although you are seeing my daughter playing on her own, I am right beside her keeping close watch. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up so I know to make more videos like these. And if you're new here, welcome. I would love for you to subscribe and be part of my YouTube family. Bye, Mama.